Is that better? Yep. Good. All right, then we can continue on. But first things first, what's happening, Travis? BPS, what's what's new, what's big, what's what's the, what's the hacks? Not a lot right now. Just like I said, kind of winding down for duck season. So we just started to taper off just a little bit. Uh, so a good, right. good time of year for us to keep caught up on things. Again, working on R&D for certain things. And you know, never know what's coming down the pipeline. So just keeping busy. and R&D is like our favorite word. Is there is. anything you could like sneak peek? Can you, what can you... You know, tell us. I, I don't know that much. That's, that, that's above my head. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> they keep me out of the loop on that gotcha. stuff. Gotcha, because they know you're going to be here, and they don't want you to Probably. give away all your secrets. That would be a, a good thing to do. Gotcha. Um, but you you guys are always all working on something, though. Absolutely. You guys are always coming out with good stuff. Sure. Um, so what's the next season, though? So you guys go from, from duck season like the rest of us. What's what's the biggest thing coming up that you guys to do? Maybe the the bow hunting? Yeah, bow you? fishing. Yeah, bow that's fishing coming up. Big. I mean, it's still a ways out. The water's still awful cold. You know, right. still, obviously, we still got ice on all the lakes around here. So, I mean, we're, we're probably a month or two months out of, you know, being ice-free still. So, we can even get the boats on the lakes. Um, yes. And like I said, the water's got to warm up a little bit. So, the fish, you know, come in a little bit shallower water to, to start shooting. So, right. it'll it'll be a while, but we'll, we'll get there. Good. So Really good. Um, for me, I, uh, like I said, we I was just in uh, uh, at the Catfish Conference. Sure. I don't know. Do you, do you catfish at all? Yeah, I do. Have you met a lot of different catfishermen? No. They I are a, I, for all of you out there. I love these people. Like they are, they are some of the best. Uh, catfishing is one of the fastest growing segments in fishing right now. Um, and what we have found, what I learned, is that it's a, it's like a husband wife sport. There were a lot. There are a lot of couples out there fishing, and so it was so awesome being in this conference, which was really successful. A lot of people there, really, really fun. Um, one of their biggest, in fact, they said they had more people on the uh, first day than they had all of last year, which wow. was so awesome. They did such a, a great job. Um, uh, Steve Douglas and Irve and all those guys working there were just really, really incredible. They were incredible to us and um, like helped us out with everything that we need when we had questions and stuff. They were so great, but. Uh, they worked really hard, got that conference, just, it, it was awesome, just cool. so many people. Uh, we had a big presence, and we had a lot of fun, but it was so awesome to watch so many couples just going back and sure. forth. I mean, there was like apparel, and they were buying rods like crazy, crawling all over the boats. It was the best time, but I tell you, I was just wasted after. Yeah. Just like I'm sure you were after the calling competition a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a long day. Yes, a lot of a lot of calls are going up no. in the air all day long. And so, so how long? So a lot of people were watching when we did that. How long did it take you to like regain your hearing after? <laughs> it's, I I do it enough. Like I said, it really doesn't bother me that much because I hear it all the time. I do it all. My wife probably gets right tired of it, but I hear it enough that it's really not that obnoxious. But by the time you get done with the end of the day, you've listened to so many, and you kind of start to go tone deaf, and it takes a day or two to. Realize that you're not listening for yes, duck calls or goose calls. So, um, but ended up being really good. Absolutely, it was an yeah. amazing event. We had a lot of callers out there, uh, a lot of good talent, a lot of top ten in the nation duck and goose callers both. So, yeah. I mean, the competition was amazing. Uh, you know, the prizes was awesome. I mean, we had a lot of good feedback from it. And like I said, that the point of it is to keep growing it. So, Absolutely. hopefully, it keeps going. So that's. Great. Uh, Keith is on watching, everybody. So cool. um, we want Keith, everybody, we're asking Keith to send a picture. Selfie Keith. That's what we're writing. Selfie. Everybody write down, Selfie Keith. Yeah. That's what we want. We want to see it. Um, looks like we are getting better reception. I got Nicholas Emerson on. Hey, Nicholas. Um, I got Jake Fawn. Uh, ben Williams is on. Uh, Ricky, nobody cares about. <laughs> Corbin Wilcox. Uh, bingo. Okay, Rick is on. Rick... Rick was with us a, a couple of days ago when we were doing a video, and our goal of the video, we were trying to get Jay Paul to wear a flat brim, flat -brim cap. Hat. And Rick, and so we were making everybody kind of ask, ask him to do that, and Rick and his wife really, uh, really helped us out, <laughs> kind of gathered the troops for that. So Rick, I, I owe you big for that. Did he put it on? He did. He wore it oh. for maybe, I don't know, Rick, how long did he have it? Maybe a minute and a half. I'm or disappointed, so. Jay Paul. I can't believe you <laughs> caved, man. He caved. I think we just had a conversation about flat bills before uh, I showed up no, here today. That is no. was my next point. <laughs> we were talking about somebody, and I was like, "Oh, uh, how old were they?" And Travis replies with, "Oh, you know, flat brim." <laughs> Apparently, flat brim is now an age. I, it's an age thing. Close and enough. I, close enough. I so I those out there. That understand will get it, and they will come. If you wear one or you don't, you will know how old that person was. I guess so, but like, 
I feel like it's it's the future. It's you know, uh, I don't I don't know. I I think it's time to move on. I think there is no shame in trying new uh, fashion trends. I guess I don't know, but it, uh, it ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. I do I do enjoy a nice flat brim <laughs> myself. So maybe I am flat brim old. Yeah, I'm I'm not. We're young. You yeah, know. I guess. Or young. Midlife yeah, crisis. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> Midlife crisis. Oh, no. Where's my, red, where's my red Porsche? <laughs> um, all right. I've got, let's see. i got Richard Rollo is on. Hey, Richard. Um, for everybody out there, just one more time. We are trying to get Keith to send us a selfie, so everybody please post uh, selfie Keith, and he's going to, oh, <laughs> Frank Williams has already done that. Awesome. Um, very good. Um, so today, we've got some fun stuff happening today. We're going to talk about... Uh, storage and traveling with these motors. Yep. Um, as, as we all saw a few weeks ago, we were out here, we had tons of snow and stuff all over our yes. boat because you miss one day, you don't go put on that cover and it's going to snow and your boat's going to be filled with junk. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Uh, but everybody out there, do continue to send in your questions about uh, motors because Travis sure. is going to be able to answer those and Keith is on watching. Um, so send those in. We'll get to all of those. We've also got some stuff to give away. Uh, we've got some Sitka gear and some Lucky Ducks, some Tangle free stuff, but definitely a big shout out to all of our sponsors. Uh, BPS, of course, who um, is amazing and will have a lot of these products we're going to talk about today. XL Boats, Tangle free Echo Calls, Lucky Duck, Ducks Clothing, or uh, Ducks Waterfall, sorry, uh, Camp Chef, Pete Dryer, and Scrusher. Those guys are awesome. Uh, those uh, boot dryers. You know, you have those that clean your boots off. Huh? I like those scrushers. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so let's get to it. What What do we have? Starting with this today. A couple we... different options. So we storage and travel. Like I so said, we kind of just did a little bit of soft goods. Maybe a lot of people don't know we carry soft goods uh, more than just the you know performance parts, the props, those kind of things. Right. So we do have a you know a few, and I brought a few samples of everything. Uh, we have a fuel tank cover uh, for the mud motors that we right. goes over the top, and uh, again, it's got okay. a nice access hatch on the top, so you can fill it. Doesn't have to be taken off to fill. Uh, right. So again, helps hide those. Most of those gas cans in the mud boats tend to be red. Can so, you hold that a little bit closer? Oh, that, uh, oh, what you it's really want to see it? You want to see it up really close? It. <laughs> yeah, no. Just this is a fuel tank cover. Fuel tank cover. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? Oh my God! I have to see. Did, can we? Is he? Is he saying it's okay to share that? Because no, he didn't say it. Was, it wasn't even him that sent it. Nancy. Was it Nancy? I told him I was going to call Nancy and ask her if she would send it. Oh, so I need to see. Yeah, that is fantastic. They're, they're interesting. Okay, so. no, we need. I need a few more. I need a few more people. We need a uh, selfie, Keith. Unbelievable, oh. Keith. Yikes, man. Did you see his hand? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, so, so. oh my gosh. Oh, Keith. Oh, I'm so Keith. Sorry. No. No, Keith. Oh. All right. Bad deal. Bad deal. What else okay. do we have? Yeah. Next, we've got. Oh, oh let's see. Good question. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, this is a decoy bag. So, again, oh, yeah. uh, most of these accessories are meant to fit in the T rail system of the XLs. Um, you know, some of the other boats have that, you know, similar system as well. Right. So they go in there. Uh, it's just got the, the pocket on the top to dump everything in there. The rest is just a big open bag. Um, and you can see it's got handles in each end. So if you can get the, you can put your decoys in here. It's stuck up to the side of your boat. When you get there, you can just unclip it. You can grab it, your handles or each guy can grab an end if it's, if it's that heavy. You can take your decoys wherever you're out as you pitch them out. Yeah. And uh, even as you're picking them up, you can take it out there and throw them in here. Uh, it's bended on the yeah, bottom here, and let bottom. the water and stuff run out so you're not freezing. How little... many decoys fit in it? I would say, depending on the size, you know, you've got some standards and, you know, magnums. I would say anywhere, I don't know, two to four or five dozen. I mean, it's it's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. So, it's a pretty big decoy bag. Yeah. Um, Keith and I have been having some discussion about how how to best wrap up decoys and all the different ways people will... We'll wrap up. What's your uh, what's your take on that? Either the Texas rig seems to be the most popular. Yeah. Or I do one. It's like a I call it modified Texas rig. It's very similar with the weight on the one side, and I actually run a depth adjuster on the opposite end side of the keel, uh, and then tie a knot in it. So when I run it, so I will just suck 
the weight up right. with the depth adjuster, so yes. it keeps the weight against there, and then you don't have to you know, wrap your rest of your line around there. And then when you throw them out, you just slide that depth adjuster down, and then, again, similar like a Texas rig, the weight will go down, and then I just pitch them out there. When it's time to pick them up, I just grab them, slide them to the top, and then you can dump them in the bags, and the line with the tangle-free line, it doesn't get tangled up. And yeah. So either the Texas rig or like I said, I call it a modified Texas rig. I don't know if there's a specific name for it, but that's what I call it. So. I like it. I really like it. I, we've got a lot of people asking for that selfie. Keep those coming, everybody. We're going we're gonna to get this. He's going to kill me at the end. He just said no selfie. But I know. It's, I, <laughs> it's great. Keep saying it. Uh, life jacket bag. Life jacket bag. So kind of same thing. It's big on the top here. You can stuff a couple life jackets in here. Again, if you don't have any storage uh, up underneath the you know the deck, if you don't have a storage mm -hmm. hatch, anything like that, yeah, you, you obviously have to have life jackets in the boat, right? Yeah. So again, so you can stuff a couple of them in here, uh, and then again, they're always they're handy. Number one, if the boat does happen to go down, you undo it. It's out there in the open. You can get a hold of it, so it's mm -hmm. not stored away tucked underneath the deck or somewhere you're digging through hat stuff under your hatch to get a hold right. of them if, you're, if it's going down. So right. again, pretty handy. Again, mesh on the bottom to keep you know water from draining out of there to keep things dry. Very so nice. another that's really handy, handy. Um, for this pro hull where we don't uh, a lot of these options don't come with. Ours has got the gun Correct. box in it, absolutely. But, but with that open floor plan, that's a really excellent exactly uh, absolutely item to have. Yep, they're all banging out there. Make them stop. Just kidding. They're fine. <laughs> they're fine. So absolutely, that's a good one. It is. How many uh, live jackets fit in the live jacket bag? Again, depend on the size. Probably. Two to four, two to three. Yeah, again, two, I would say two to three. Depends so on the size. Depends on the size. If you've got the small We've orange got ones, those, probably a few more. Yeah, probably a few more. We've got the those uh, Mustang ones that blow up. We could put a Correct. whole so you bunch, put a of, bunch those of those in there. Yeah. So kind of again, kind of just depends on the size of the of the deal, the life jacket. This is a man purse uh, that we carry. It is so. working <laughs> out for me. <laughs> no, this is one that I personally run in my personal boat. I absolutely love this one. Uh, it's a blind bag. There's right. a couple zippers on the top, which is a main compartment. Uh, and then there's inside here, there's another, there's more storage with zippers, little compartments that you can put GPSs in it. I put my keys in here. I put my phone in here. Uh, I keep a spare set of gloves, uh, uh -huh. you know, a, a headlight, uh, you know, snacks, anything like that. Uh, I keep extra plugs for my boat in the little zippers up front here, so I always know where they're at. When I pull my zippers out, or my, or my, my zippers, my, uh, <laughs> when you pull your zippers out, you my are, uh, plugs for plugs. my boat. Right. So every time I go, oh, yeah. I know I come over and I pull, pull the plug out and I go put it in the boat. And when I pull it, I come right back and put it right in here and I actually have another one on the other side. So I keep two plugs in here all Very the time. True. If I happen to lose one, somebody needs a spare one at the boat ramp, yes. I always have boat plugs handy. And like I said, Very sunflower nice. seeds, snacks, I, I use this all the time. I would not, never not have this in my boat. This is a good blind bag. Do you remember what Absolutely. Keith pulled out of his blind bag? Or I pulled out of Keith? I pulled out a bra one time out of yeah, Keith's. I know. I mean, so. I'm just saying, you know, his face. Uh, yeah. So. That's, a, that's a actually really nice. I really like that one. I use that quite a bit. All right. Jump right, jump right to this one real quick. Okay. okay. And then we'll get into those. Those are kind of the same. This is a, uh, a gun sleeve that we offer. Oh. So same thing. Nice. Fits in the T-Rail system. It'll fit two guns. Um, so there is two compartments here. Again, they're mesh on the back, so they're water can drain. Um, all the way underneath, there's a pocket on each side, so you can put, uh, you know, ropes or tools, anything like that in there. I keep some tools, some wrenches in mine. Um, keep two guns. I keep mine in a soft case, and then it's big enough I can slide that soft case right inside here. Uh, keeps it off the floor. The dog's not walking on it. It's not getting muddy, that kind of stuff. The other thing on the back side, it's also got some other storage. I put my paddle in here. You are required to have a paddle in your boat. So I keep my paddle in here, and then there's another small one here. I actually keep my transom light in here. Uh, yeah. So when it gets dark, yeah. you are required to have light. So I yeah. keep my transom light in the back. I keep my paddle here. Again, it's all up off the floor. You can keep wrenches and stuff in the front. It holds my guns. It holds my fishing poles. Um, in the yeah. summertime, I oh, stick yeah. my fishing poles in here. That's a great so idea. It, you know, got multiple uses. Right. Um, and it all slide, and it'll all slide right into T rail. So it all fits in the T rail system again. Can be unbuckled like everything else. Mm -hmm. um, right. So a couple of the patterns, the ones we mainly carry is the bottom lands, which is this one, and then obviously the Max Five. Um, we do have a couple odds and ends while we're at that. I have a couple <clears throat> that have been discontinued. We've got some Osseo breakup, a couple things in Nat gear, stuff like that. There, we've actually put on a, a clearance kind of right now so if they want to call the shop Ooh. and ask for me ask for Corbin 
we can uh, tell them what we have, you know, as yeah. far as clearance. Uh, some of the bird bags, that kind of stuff that's in, you know, just the old school camel patterns or stuff that's been discontinued that we just don't use anymore. Yes. So most of the new items are, are Bottomlands and Max 5. Got it. So that's, that's hot. We're going to need, I think, I think the Salty needs one of those for sure. What's uh, the uh, phone number if they want to call you for those? To the shop is 385-695-3807. And again, they can ask for Travis, ask for Corbin. Uh, we can uh, can do this for them. Um, and while we're at that, I, I did talk to the bosses. Um, if they want to give us a phone call, call the office um, till the end of the week. Any of the soft goods that they order, we'll ship them for free. There so it free is. Shipping, just yes. on the soft goods. So if you want to call and order soft goods, call. You have to call the shop. It cannot be done on the on the website. Call the shop. Ask for ask for Travis. Ask for Corbin, and we can get that uh, shipping for you for nothing. That's awesome. So, That's really awesome. Sure. That's a good deal. Jump on that, everybody. Yep. Um, all right, I'm just going to do some shout-outs. Let's give some stuff away. Perfect. Um, first, there was a question, though, about most of these soft goods. Are they waterproof, some of these things? They're, I would say they're probably water resistant. They're, they're definitely not waterproof. Um, we have one you know, of the covers that we'll go over. That's waterproof, but uh -huh. it's probably water resistant. I, I wouldn't say it's waterproof. Yes. Very good. Um, great. Let's see. Um, Jake Fawn, that's slick. How many fit? That's probably about one of those things. But Jake, um, I'm going to send you, I've got a uh, gunsling. Jake Fawn, that's for you. Um, there's a link at the top of the description. Click on that, fill out your info, and I'm going to get that sent off to you. Uh, appreciate it. Um, let's see who else I've got. Um, just see, Hunter Caves. Oh, here we go. What oil do you guys prefer to run in your motor from Hunter Caves? Uh, most of it's a 10W30. Uh, the yeah, the mobile one is what the we run a mobile lot. Mobile one or the the purple the VR, the Royal Purple. The Royal I, purple. I run Royal Purple in mine personal motor. Like I said, the mobile one, the VR is a, a good mobile oil as yeah. well. So, absolutely. And Hunter Caves, thank you for your question. I've got a Lucky Duck um, tumbler for you, Hunter Caves. Click the link at the top, fill out your info. I'm gonna get that sent off to you. All right, let's see who else do I got going on here. <laughs> do you know a Tanner Car Carlson? Tanner Carlson. Mm -hmm. Should we send him something? Sure. Has he been nice to us? Yeah. All right. Tanner, I've got, um, I've got Mallard Madness. Perfect. For you, Tanner, click the link. I'm gonna get that sent off to you. Um, good. Let's see. Oh, Stephen Wheeler, love my bird bag. Cool. That's awesome. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen, I've got a trash talker for you. Um, Steven Wheeler, click the link. I'm going to send that off to you. All right, what, what's what's next? What do we have here? Jumping into the storage uh, storage side of it, or travel side of it. Right. Uh, so we've got a couple different motor covers. This one that we run is, we call it the hottie cover. It's a hottie motor cover. Um, it's not a travel cover. This is not something you're going to run down the highway with. Okay. As you can see, it fits over the handle, but there's no straps to strap it down. This is a hunt-only cover. Um, it is a silicone impregnated material, so it is heat resistant. So when you stop, you can set your decoys up, you give it, let that motor cool down about 10, 15 minutes, and then you can actually put this on without melting the cover. Right. Uh, so a lot of those covers are not heat proof. And as many of you know that run a mud motor, it takes some time for that muffler to cool down after you stop. So oh, yeah. these are heat resistant. They're not heat proof. So don't turn off your motor and throw this thing on there. That's not what it's meant to do. Um, but it does have stubble straps again, so you can stubble it uh, at, you know, vegetation from the marsh yeah. you know to cover your motor to help break up that outline so right. great cover again not a travel cover but a hunt cover yeah. and it just slides right over the top of them and most of these these will all fit these will fit uh the hdrs the sport v's uh the bosses i mean anything they, they fit most of our, our, right. our mud motors right so good that's really good um what's the best way to keep your boat cover from sagging in the middle and collecting water when we have them made here, the, the company that we actually have that does them with us, they actually have a, they sew a, a button, if you will, into about two or three of them to begin, depending on the length of the boat in the center. And they actually have adjustable poles and they kind of, they have almost like a snap on the top. So you actually put those poles in there as you roll them back and they kind of snap in the top and then that kind of keeps it. And then as you go down, you just keep snapping them in there as they roll down and almost looks like a circus tent. Uh, oh. So it helps keep the water sure. from, and then it, again, you can if you angle the front of your boat up, that'll obviously just run it all the way back and off the back of the boat. So excellent. That's a that's a great question. Really good question. It is. Um, okay, let's see. 
uh, from Brandon Seeley. Also having trouble getting my boat on plane. Just had some modifications to it with Hunt Deck. I have 36 horsepower Mud Buddy, lost about five miles per hour, and have the two blade. Should I try a three blade? It's hard to say. I, I don't know how big a boat it is. Right. Um, so again, there's probably a little bit more. Again, probably shoot us an email or call us would probably be the biggest, easiest way to troubleshoot that. Um, so we can get into some details. Like I said, you know, Micah, Keith, you know, any right. of us could probably help with that. A little bit better, more information is going to be needed. Yes, um, Brandon. So we want to make sure you get that that question answered. But Brandon, I do have. I got a tangle free hat here for you, Brandon. Uh, to let that you know sink in over time sure. until we get that question answered all the way but do send uh, Keith an email about that uh, Keith at mudbuddy.com he'll get that answered for you all right good perfect very nice uh, Keith's very active on here I I really good. feel like Keith if something doesn't change here in a minute I'm gonna show that I'm gonna have him show that picture so you know everybody hide your children it's that bad uh, I'm just kidding <laughs> Um, heat resistant, nice. Clayton Lambert, probably much better than a grass bundle. <laughs> yes, especially if you put it on the muffler hot. Especially if you put hot. it on the muffler hot. Yeah. Nice little uh, you may have other issues. fire to warm you up yeah. at that moment. The hottie cover is waterproof. Great cover and absolutely don't trailer with it. No. It flaps not, around pretty good. It yeah. is not meant to trailer. Again, there's no tie downs. There's no straps to hold it on. It is not a travel cover. Right. You will donate Strictly it to the highway. hunting. When you park your boat, it goes on. And when you go to leave, it comes off. Um, I'm having some questions about price for that uh, that hunt cover. You know, off the, the top the of your head. The covers, I think it runs 137 135 right in there somewhere. All right. Um, and most of them, again, I don't remember every single price off the top of my head. Most of that stuff's going to range from about 40 bucks up to, I think that hottie cover is the most expensive one, like 140 137 something like that. So anywhere from 30 to 140 bucks for most of these products. Um, Jake Fawn asks, does BPS sell boat covers in addition to motor covers? We don't sell covers. Um, if they're local, we you know we have a local manufacturer that we work with that we can do a cover for. But right. as far as shipping them, there's just too many issues with boats, and some of them have seats, and some of them have fish finders, and some of them have this attachment and that attachment. So to do a generic cover is just too hard. Right. And they're custom made. They're they're just a, they're super solid. So yeah. We if, if they're local, they can bring it down. Like I said, we can we can do a quote for them. We can get a custom you know cover built. But outside of that, we we don't ship anything. Awesome. Great. Clayton Lambert, any links that type of canopy support him? Clayton, I'm going to need a little clarification on that one, and we'll try and get that. Brandon Seeley's boat is a 1748, a mud buddy with a Sport B on it. All right, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get to that, Brandon. We'll we'll try and get that answered for you. Sure. Um, Keith, David, do you have a boat cover for an X? Okay, that's that same boat cover. Keith, Jeffrey, any word on the 4XL hoodies? John, I'm I'm working on that. Um, with that with that 4X size, I do not as of yet. But as soon as I do, I am gonna get that. I'm gonna get that out to you. But for the rest of you, those hoodies, those Mud Buddy hoodies, are actually on sale now. You can actually uh, purchase them. Uh, and I will post a link a little bit later that you can hit right to those. Those are the on the the XL boats. Uh, website is where those are right now. Um, Renee Mudbody 40 EFI on an F4. My first surface drive, I don't know why. Oh, okay, Kevin York, I like this. Running a Mudbody 40 EFI, which is such a great motor, on an F4. Uh, looks like a pro hull. Uh, my first surface drive, and I don't know why I waited so long. I love that. Uh, Kevin York, I've got a an XL Sitka. Uh, this is the, yeah, this is the Sitka cap for you. Click the link at the top. Uh, Kevin York, and I'll get that sent off to you. Awesome. All right, what else? What else we missing uh, here? The covers. Again, as far as so now we're kind of into the storage travel covers. Right. This is a, a hunt storage cover. Again, I won't recommend to travel with this cover. This is a again a storage cover um, that will cover the handle, and then it comes down over the back and covers a little bit of the tail. Again, it's got some straps that will mm -hmm. you know strap things down. If you're going to put it in the yard, something like that, this is probably great. Or again, if you wanted to stop while you were hunting after the muffler cooled off, you could put this over the top. It is camo. It uh, doesn't have this double straps and stuff as, as well as the, the hottie cover does. But, uh, we, you know, this is a basic storage cover, you know, fairly yeah. inexpensive. You'd want to let your motor cover or, uh, cool down before Absolutely. you put that Yeah, on. this is not heat resistant. This is a, a storage travel cover. Yes. Like I said, it's not nothing that's going to be ran down the highway by any means. Sure. So Great. But, all right, and then this is the one that we've needed. Correct. 
for our motor because we uh, we travel distances. Absolutely. Don't have water super close, so Correct. we're always running down the highway. And this is what I run on my personal motor. Again, this is we call this the it's a vinyl motor cover or the 100 mile per hour cover. This is one you can put on your motor. You can strap it on and you can do 100 miles an hour down the freeway if that's what you want to do. Like um, we do. It's a heavy duty vinyl. Yeah. Um, you can tell when we say waterproof, this is. It, you know, oh, yeah. this is the deal. So I store my this on my motor in the summer months, or on the you know off the side of my house when I travel down the freeway, when I travel anywhere. This is on my motor all the time, nice. and this is I and they last. I had my first one I bought in two thousand and nine or two thousand and eight, and I sold my when I sold my motor two years ago. I sold it with that thing, and it was he asked me if he could have the cover, I and mean, it was still in great shape. So I mean, I got right. nine years out of it, and there was nothing wrong with it. I just got rid of my motor, sure. so I, I purchased a new one for my new motor. Um, this is the one I recommend. In fact, I even sold one to a gentleman today. That just for the the price difference, like these run ninety eight. You know, I think we're seventy five or something for the storage cover. Mm -hmm. These are just a lot heavier duty. They're just a solid, like I said, travel down the road. Right. This is a do all motor cover. So I, I use nice. this one on my personal motor all the time. Okay. So the house the, does not leave the house without it on. It does not come home without it on. We've got a couple of people asking to see if they can, if you can put it on the motor real quick. Can we we absolutely sure? can. Let's do it. Let's actually, hold the top. So it goes handle first. So you're gonna want to put the handle handle through here. And then once that's on, then it just slides up over the top. And it slides down over the top of everything. And then you've got your straps that will actually come around on each side and you can buckle them. They're not done up, but. And then it buckles in the back side here. There's just plastic buckles here. And you can cinch those babies down and that's what holds it on. So Sweet. keeps, oh, especially during duck season when you get a lot of those if it's raining or if it's snowing and they put salt on the road or the dirt or that, you know, it's going to end up in your boat. It's going to end up all over caked on your handle box kit. It's going to end up in your, uh, you know, the front oh, of the motor, yeah, the whole thing, battery. snow, ice, all that kind of crap. Yep. It just helps keep all that stuff off there. So it just, you know, bugs, all that kind of crap. It just helps keep it cleaner, nicer. It's just a, it's just, this is my favorite cover. Yeah. I love that. Hmm. Yeah. So. Something we definitely need. No, that's really awesome. Um, let's see. I, I saw a couple of good ones on here. Um, oh, here we go. Nicholas Emerson. Travis, what's your thoughts on transom LED lights for like, you know, the light of your rooster tail? Rooster, rooster tail lights. Yeah, uh, rooster I, tail lights. I don't, like that? I, I don't have them on my boat. I'm, I guess I'm, I'm old. I, I, I guess. <laughs> You're not flat I'm not a flat brimmer. You're not a so, flat brimmer? Okay. So I, I've never, I, I just, I don't know. It's, to me, it's just one more thing to, to go wrong about. They do look cool. I'll admit no, that. I do think they look really cool. really awesome. I, um, I wish we had some. I don't run my boat a lot at nighttime. I, I mean, I bow fish at nighttime every once in a while. So, I mean, I'd see them then. But outside of that, I, I mean, duck hunting right. and fishing and stuff like that's in the daytime. So it really doesn't. Nicholas, much. if you've got pictures of one that you are using or like or have seen, I, I want to see it. Will you send sure. that to me? I would, I would love to see it because... I'm interested. Yeah. And I, know, I mean, they come brim. in red, green, blue, white. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they got oh, all, yeah. kinds, of all cool kinds of colors. All kinds of colors. I know. Yeah, they're I, awesome. I just never have looked into them that far. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Matt Cow is on. Matt, it's good to see you. Glad you, glad you made it. Um, like and share, Keith says. Everybody, please, <laughs> please do like and share. We really do appreciate the likes. The selfie? Uh, and Keith, yes, to? I, I like believe so. Like, <laughs> like and share the selfie. I'm pretty sure that's what he means, right? I think so. Uh, so much I know. I, I just, I'm trying to think if it's really <laughs> worth it, and I think it is. I'm pretty uh, sure. <laughs> Technically, he'd have to be mad at his wife, not us. <laughs> right, and I, you know, he's not been super quick lately, no. so I'm not sure he could. Catch me! I'm not. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to weigh. I'm weighing. You know, problems here. Uh, Jeff, you say, Jeff Scott, a uh, hundred mile an hour travel cover. Love it. Uh, keeps all the moisture out of yes. the football electrical switches. Absolutely, it does. Yes. yes. Um, like the fact that it covers the handle. Absolutely, Correct. that's that's what I like. Um, will cover fit a gator tail? That is like cursing right here, but that's okay. I will forgive you this one time, I, I, uh, Christopher. I'm not 100% <laughs> because I believe, again, and I don't know 100%, they've got those bigger boxes and stuff on the handle. Yeah. I don't know yeah, if those, those bigger square pieces. boxes would have come, you know, that's, 
the, the diameter of that handle would accommodate those. So I, I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure. Right. To be honest with you. Got it. Um, Rick will be sporting my BPS hat tomorrow at the MDHA banquet. Awesome. In Muskegon, Michigan. That's awesome, Rick. Cool. Take some pictures. Send them over. I'm always interested. Uh, Nicholas Emerson just sent a GIF. I'm going to have to look at that a little bit later. I'm excited for that. <laughs> um, need to go live and do a demo in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell your gator and get a mud buddy. That is the best advice I could ever give anybody ever. Doesn't that guy get a prize? Hey, yes. He should. He absolutely does. Um, I've got... Um, let's see. This, this is for Garrett Kirchhoff. I've got a... What do we call this? It's a duck strap. A lanyard. Or a lanyard. That's what it is. The duck lanyard. Call lanyard. From Duck's Waterfowl. That one's the call lanyard. Call lanyard. Not yep. the duck lanyard. This is the call lanyard. Yep. From who was it? Duck's Waterfowl. From Duck's Waterfowl. That's uh, Andrew Flair's company. Um, they're great over there. So um, who did I say? Garrett. Garrett Kirshoff. That is for you. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Great advice. Everybody should keep on with that. Um, did you see Keith's comment above that stuff? Which, he just said, one? it's okay. So I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yes, was, it like, will. He giving you permission? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Is he giving us permission? I know he just said it's okay with an okay emoji, and I don't know. I, I'm going to go with a yes, that, that it's okay. We're going to say, everybody stay tuned, because I'm going to show this picture in just a minute, everybody. Oh, Is that awesome. what you meant, Keith? Don't get mad at me. I hope so, I know. <laughs> My buddy has a mud buddy, and then, let's see. This cover is will fit. Great. Thank you for the guard and the mud fest, too, for BPS Mud Buddy 2. That's awesome. I say we... Um, I say we do it. Let's show it. I think you, I think we should show it. I think now's the time. I haven't got any more messages at all either. So I I think I I feel like yes, yeah, show it. He said he said yes. We got enough people to do it. Fantastic. We're gonna show it, everybody. Uh, if you have eaten recently, I suggest that maybe you maybe look away, or if there are children in the room, maybe you know keep just just prepare yourselves for this. We could start with the easier ones first. How about oh that one? Gosh. Yeah, show that one first. Okay. Can you see this? Is it? Uh, a little closer. Right there. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, that's his so, hand. <laughs> this is his hand. Oh, Keith, no. Oh, no. All right, here we go. This one's oh. pretty good. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> he's eating something he's been allergic to, obviously. Somebody. So there's Oh my god. Oh yeah, oh, there's Keith, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. poor guys. Eating something he's allergic to. So hopefully he's taking some Benadryl and he's got that under control. He was talking when I talked to him on the way over here, so he, he was he's talking off, he, yes. swollen down a little bit from whenever these pictures were taken. I know he's like drinking so. Benadryl from a straw right <laughs> Probably now. Probably is. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being sure. here with us. I really appreciate it. All of yeah. that stuff, all of those covers, those storage um, pieces, like you were saying, the soft... The soft, soft goods, what the we The soft call goods Absolutely. are um, free shipping. Yes, t t tomorrow and Friday, t through Friday. So if you'll call the shop and ask for Corbin, ask for Travis, we can, you know, we'll ship those soft goods for free. Like I said, and we do have a couple off colors. That we, there, there's some Nat Gear, some, uh, some Osseo Breakup, some odd colors that we just are discontinuing that we haven't used for a long time that we'll clear now uh, that we have discounted so if you want to call the shop uh, we can we can give you those those prices on that stuff let you know what we have again we didn't want to post it because it's just odds and ends we didn't know how you know it's not gonna last a whole long so yes. it's just easier doing it that way awesome. and we can do the free shipping on it um, and again if they need other parts like said pieces props performance parts call us and, and we can go awesome. that route too very good, very good. Um, I do want to thank our sponsors one last time. Uh, BPS, of course, thank you so much for all that you guys do for us. XL Boats, uh, Tangle Free, Echo Calls, Lucky Duck, Ducks Waterfowl, Camp Chef, Pete Dryer, and Scrusher. Those guys are so awesome. Please go on and check them out. Um, without them, we could not do this show and all of the fun things that we have and keep could stay at home and try and get better and all of these things. Not without them, so we love them. Also, do like and share if you, uh, if you have a second. Uh, drop that. We also love all of your comments and uh, and uh, all that good stuff. Um, we do have a lot of people with condolences. For it. <laughs> it's Luke Powell's. That's my favorite, though. I don't. Luke Powell, I've got a hat for you just for that comment. I've got a I've got a uh, hat for you, Luke. He said, "Sweet baby Jesus." <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we do want Keith to get better, and he hopefully will be back with us next week. 
Um, we're going to be right here, I believe, same time, same day next week. We're going to try and get out onto the water if at all possible with this weather. I just don't know if it will. So uh, stick with us. We'll be right back next week. Same bad time, same bad channel right here in the shallow water. Bye, everybody.